Hello, fellow seekers of truth, trolls, shills. And Thunderbirds are go! Apparent detection via new telescopes with concave lenses of otherwise invisible terrestrial entities, ITE. It was published by the Thunder Energies Corporation, Florida, USA. Ruggiero Maria Santilli is the man behind this. And so what we think is a straight line is actually curving. Our eye, it's like our eye is traveling up a curve. And here's the citation for the article. I'll read you the abstract. Here's what it says, quote, By using telescopes with concave lenses known as Santilli telescopes, trademark and patent pending by the U.S. publicly traded company Thunder Energies Corporation, we present for the first time evidence for the apparent existence of entities in our terrestrial environment that are solely visible via telescopes with concave lenses. But when you start to see passages in scripture that refer to inside the earth, and there's many references to inside the earth in the Bible, but the one that really caught my attention was in Job. Um, Satan goes before the Lord, and it says that God asks him, you know, where have you been and where did you come from? With radar, we can pick up a greater distance with a lower frequency. The higher frequency is going to refract more. It's going to bend up more like that from and what well, says whence comest thou in the king james and satan says i've been going to and fro back and forth up and down in the earth it was essentially 8.22 inches greater at the bottom than it was at the top and many people will overlook this passage i know i did many times but when you start to think about it it's very telling that satan is doing something inside the earth um, i left a comment on his video where he tries to tell you what they're doing, he's right about what they're doing. They are not explaining the cell and Elliot. They're avoiding the question and trying to replace it and, dis and distract you with their circus music. And so, but however, Mr. Rich fails because he doesn't understand that a lunar eclipse cannot possibly work. They can't, you know, you can't have that working within a flat earth theory. Um, there is no object to eclipse the moon. There is a reason, there are good reason to believe that it works within a concave Earth model. Actually, it's the only model that correctly describes a lunar eclipse because of the Gegenschein. And the software that calculates the position of the drone doesn't take into account that the RF waves are bending up. The very instrument that heliocentrists will use to tell you that the Earth is rotating has actually turned to damning evidence that it is not rotating. And tell me a little bit about cellular Earth. This isn't a crazy idea. This is covered like scripture, the science, and when you've sussed it all and you take a look at how the elite have been playing the three parties. Sammy boy. The Foku Pendulum. Aside from the already damning evidence that Maurice Elias showed that during solar eclipses, the rotation of the pendulum would shift there is one other failsafe proof that showed conclusively that the pendulum cannot possibly be determining a rotating Earth. It has to do with the duration of one complete cycle of rotation at the North and South Poles. It is not a perfect 24 hours. Instead, it's 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. The sidereal day. This shows without a doubt that the pendulum is being affected by the celestial sphere. There we go, it's confirmed. We live in the concave Earth. And within the correct form of the Earth and universe, we have a literal, tangible celestial sphere above our heads inside the Earth that is rotating at this exact speed. The lift force and the sink force of the electromagnetic flux. There's an inversely proportional relationship between the two. Blue arrows represent the centripetal convergent lift force. It draws objects to the center, where the current is attracted to the moving convex surface of the celestial sphere. The lift force is stronger in the center and weaker at the edge. That is why planets have such an easy time staying aloft toward the center. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. And so, I'm...
like to think of it not in a linear fashion, but in a spherical sense, in a fashion, where God is the centerpiece, yes. and all the priorities, all your goals are on the outside. Yeah. And if you have that, and he's the hub if you, of that wheel. If you have the, that model, yeah. then then you're gonna you're, you're gonna be able to play the game better or fight the fight better mm -hmm. in a linear fashion, but in a spherical sense, in a fashion where God is the centerpiece, yes. and all the priorities, all your goals are on the outside. How many times did you hear that? As above, so below. Michelangelo, he was very well illuminated. He knew, he definitely knew what was going on. Plato knew that we lived inside the earth. As you can see here, St. Paul's Cathedral. As above, so below. Very elaborate work there. But yeah, as above, so below. The world we live in is concave. That's what he's showing us. As above, so below. That is the reason why we are living in a concave earth. That's one of the reasons why. And if you're a flat earth fighter boy, you're an idiot.